Hey folks, this is Iowa throwing back with some more World of Tanks. As you can see, this is Great Taz. He is in here with his um, Grand Finals version of the M4190 Walker Bulldog. Um, this is a beautiful tank, and it's uh, it's still pretty powerful. So good. Um, I've always wanted one of those. These things never got a hold of it. This is a tier 8 game on Minsk, so he's pretty powerful in this game. He should have a fairly decent impact, and unfortunately, he just can't get the gun around. Does manage to do so, and tracks the poor EVO 90, who's now going to die because of that. Though, are going to just point out the ground. Taz, this is a bad start. Don't, don't tell me this is how the game's going to go. <laughs> Ooh, we get hit by artillery. That's unfortunate. So, just the fact that he was spinning his tank all the wrong way, and then, like, <laughs> drove up to try and shoot down. <laughs> okay, now we're back on course. As we're going to eviscerate this poor Type 64, who apparently has decided that sitting here is the best option for not dying. He is very wrong about this. Oh, as we shoot the ground, never mind. MG25 is not going to get away from that move, but he is going to spot us while he does it. As much as we want to push through here, we should not push through here. It's a very, very fast way to die. Oh, this Type 64 is going to try it again, and unfortunately for us, he's going to get away with it again. Uh, I don't know why the E8 is trying this. I would have shot the E8 over the Type 64, but I understand wanting to finish your kills as we definitely scored a hit there. Um, yep, yeah, we did. Oh, look at that. T29 rolling down the same path. So we're going to start sh putting shots into him. He does spot us in return. But he's backing it far enough that we can put another shot into him. And I think he's going to stay here long enough for us to put at least one more into him. Uh, nope, it went low, hit the ground. Should be aiming a little bit higher right now. We're not, but that's okay. Do take out his tracks. Artillery hits us yet again. And the T-29 is going to go down. Yeah. Unfortunately, though, we can't stay here because Artie definitely knows where we are and is zoned in on our location. It's a little weird trying to go up the hill that way. Uh, it does get a shot into the STRV. Apparently, this is a great place to go if you just want to farm the enemy team because it seems like they just push up, sit right in your line of fire, and then wait for you to shoot them. As that's definitely all Great Taz has been doing all game. Hey, look, the SRV is again in our line of fire. Unfortunately, we missed. <laughs> uh, he's going to die before he does much else. And the E8 is going to follow him not long afterwards. And then we're going to be pushing into the enemy team. Ooh, if he'd fired that instead of trying to auto aim, he would have actually probably got that kill. But that's okay. This is the way it goes some days. Only three members of the enemy team left. Two of them we know are over here. We're going for our tour because, of course, when in doubt, go kill Artie as a scout tank anyway. He's going to cross this little bridge here. Um, I'm perfectly comfortable doing it. And then pop up in the enemy's spawn zone and see if the uh, artillery actually moved at all or not. Now, of course, this is the guy who was hitting us. So likely as ever we know pretty much where he was. Assuming, of course, he didn't move. Yep, yeah, right, right there. Hi! We're we gonna jump on him? We're not gonna jump on him, but oh, we don't even get the kill! As enemy already, or friendly already, is all, also on the ball, and <laughs> we're gonna take out some extra damage. Unfortunately, so I don't think we're gonna get over here before this guy dies. It's a no knee. He's backed into a corner. There's about three or four friendlies all around him are we are we gonna get the kill yeah <laughs> nice job securing that kill and uh the game is over wow well done sir um this is a quick little game and because it's so quick there will definitely be uh what's it called uh, the, the, uh that just happens a bonus clip on the end of this so stay tuned for that this was a fun little game though can't wait to see what you, what you got for this. Not much is the answer to that question. This is only a second class master badge. 
Bruiser Fire Perfect. I mean, wait. It says we didn't even put a shot into this guy. Did we miss and hit him with the splash damage from the HE? Is that what happened? I didn't pay that much attention. I assumed we hit him. Uh, but we must not have. And apparently we also didn't hit the E8. It says we didn't connect a shot. So we splashed him to death? Or splashed him? Did we have HE go to not notice? Which, I mean, it's quite possible seeing as possibly reloading it for the 64 or something. Interesting. I, uh, two things you guys can go back and check out that I just, I don't have time to do that. But definitely comment in the, the comments below about whether or not we missed some HE shots. Is that what happened? Or is the game just glitching out? Uh, in either case, I, I'd like to know. Um, and well done overall. Yeah, 2300 damage is only a second class master badge on this thing. That actually tells you a lot about the amount of people that are playing this and what they're doing with it and um, <laughs> the fact that... <laughs> I mean, it might not be an ace tanker, I get that. But it should be higher than a second class, right? Well, apparently this is a good enough tank that people are playing it and playing a lot of it. But... Overall, you made a ton of money, so well done, sir. Thank you so much for saying this in. I can't wait to see your next game, and uh, I'm sure everyone else can't either. In the meantime, stay tuned for the bonus clip, and uh, enjoy this. It'll be a little bit of a flip-flop compared to what we've just seen. Ah, this is IOE Turret.